little Nagual has a sacred medicine walking stick. Ayahuasca is the sacred medicine of the Amazon. The benefits of this medicine are difficult to exaggerate from enhanced memory, resolution of lifelong addictions, emotional traumas. The spirit or totem animals are the anaconda. The green anaconda, known as the heaviest snake in the world. The jaguar. And the condor. I have mixed feelings about people taking ayahuasca without a facilitator or shaman. I feel that if people really need the medicine, it shouldn't just be limited to the people that can afford to go to South America or who have access to a shaman. So I just want to stress that it's really important that if you're going to do this at home on your own, uh, to take it very seriously and have respect and patience and dip your toes in very slowly and gradually and make sure that you don't find yourself overwhelmed. Also, shamans uh, pretty much universally believe that it's very important uh, how the energy is maintained around the medicine from the time of harvest uh, throughout uh, preparation. Uh, Ikaro is a Quechua word, which means healing through smoke. And so originally, Ikaro's describe uh, the tradition of holding an intent and is sort of whistle blowing or whistle humming smoke with the uh, concentration focused on the intent that you're trying to transfer to the medicine. If you wish to prepare using Ikaros, you don't necessarily need a shaman to teach you how to sing Ikaros. You can still uh, order a little bit of mapacho tobacco online or some good organic tobacco and just focus your intentions and whistle blow the smoke onto the uh, medicine uh, throughout the preparation. First thing you have to do is get a hold of some ayahuasca. So we were walking along, heading back to our hostel uh, from the dam in Shell, and we noticed this uh, brush pile here, and it's just full of ayahuasca. It's just, there's just piles of it everywhere. To break the medicine up, just enough so that the water can permeate in between all the little threads so it needs to be broken up pretty thoroughly so i have about 650 grams of material here i'm just going to divide it into two pots and then you want to just cover the material with water with two ounces of vinegar per liter of water roughly to help pull the alkaloids out and it does make a big difference it's not something you should skip Boil it for about three hours, strain it. You're going to do that at least three times. Sometimes it's necessary to do it four times. Uh, even once I had to do it five times, eventually the liquid will become almost totally clear. And then that's when you know you can go ahead and stop. Eventually you're going to combine the material and reduce it all the way down to a paste for those of you that are making the microdosing extract. Here in Ecuador, we use Chale Pongo, also known as Okoyahe or just Yahe, which is a vine, a diplopterus. This plant is Chale Panga which is the Ecuadorian Chacuna. It's not in the same genus even as Chacuna. It's a, in the coffee family, actually. It's a Diplopterus, Diplopterus cabarena. The back of the leaf has kind of a shiny gloss. Uh, but overall, these leaves are very, very um, uh, common look. So it takes a little bit of practice to uh, learn to identify the plant. Um, but it is a vine. The leaves can get very, very big. Uh, there's a comparison. I'm not sure if this is a different type, um, but just sometimes, even when it's a small plant, the uh, leaves are huge, we've noticed. It contains both NN dimethyltryptamine and 5-MeO DMT, so the visions are much more powerful. Uh, the experience of unity consciousness is stronger, and uh, I definitely prefer the brew with uh, Chale Ponga to just in and dimethyltryptamine brews. Um, and so we were able to buy some dried Okoyahe at the indigenous market, uh, but then today we found a bunch of fresh uh, diplopters uh, down the street. This is the brush pile where we found the ayahuasca, the, the, the municipality uh, landscape, or the municipal landscape crew, I guess, cut it all down. And oftentimes in nature, you'll find plants that work together very close to each other. 
uh, poison ivy, for example, in the United States, you'll find the yellow flower that is the antidote nearby. And so in this hole here, uh, we're just pulling out fistfuls and fistfuls of Chaliponga, uh, which is the Quechua um, a name for the plant. The Shuar name is Okoyahe, Plopterus cabrarena. It contains both NNDMT and 5-MeO-DMT, which is the uh, form of DMT that's associated with the bufo toad. And so uh, the ayahuasca brew that's made with this plant is very, very powerful. And so what I did is I counted uh, the 30 grams that are in this bundle and matched it with the same number of leaves. So uh, 15 grams per person is considered a very strong dose if you're using chalipanga. And so uh, about 50 average sized fresh leaves is the equivalent of 30 grams. So you just add the leaves to the ayahuasca in your pot. And I like to use just a little bit of mapacho tobacco. Um, it's not very much. It's not gonna have much of an effect, except that it is there to put the grandfather spirit, the essence of the tobacco, and keep everyone's mind focused. And my power plant or ally plant is definitely bobinsana. And so I always add some uh, fresh bobinsana flowers. We were actually able to just pick these in the park in town. And so, this is ready to cook. So if you're interested in making a concentrate, uh, you'll have to cook it down for many hours. Um, and then I transfer it into a smaller pot when it starts to get kind of thick. You can kind of see how these bubbles are almost making a film and it has almost the consistency of jello. That means that we're very, very close. Uh, you just have to keep the heat low and be careful not to burn it until you have as much moisture cooked out as you want. And this facilitates um, <clears throat> this facilitates much longer storage without fermentation. We're currently in the process of moving uh, into the Amazon rainforest into a Shawak community in order to participate in conservation efforts and so that we can study the medicine and we can use all the support we can get. So please do support us on Patreon where you can access premium content and support our efforts.